In this video, I'm going to take this Lenovo Think Center and turn it into a full-on game console. do this is basically installing an operating system called Steam Deck OS and what this is is people have basically taken the recovery image from the Steam Deck and made it into a bootable file that you can run and install on any kind of PC so uh, when at the time I got the hardware for all of this um, it only supported AMD GPUs but uh, in recent times they now support Nvidia GPUs as well so I'm going to show you all the hardware that I got for this thing and we're going to upgrade this thing and turn it into a game console. So I decided to go with a small form factor computer just because it is more of a uh, console shape and size and it will fit into a uh, home theater setup a little bit better. Um, you can go with like a full size desktop or something like that if you want to put more powerful hardware in there. Um, but this is great, and this does limit you to small form factor graphics cards as well. So this Lenovo desktop here has an Intel Core i5-6500, which is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU. Um, you can go with something like an older Dell uh, small form factor with like a 4th Gen i7 or something like that, which would give you 4 cores and 8 threads. Um, if you do go with an i5, I would recommend going 6th Gen and up. Those are just the best i5s in my opinion. Um, and then we also have a single 8 gig stick of DDR4 in here, which I'm going to be upgrading to 16 gigs of 3200 uh, dual channel. And then um, I went with the RX 6400. Uh, like I said, at the time that I put the parts together for this, um, they only supported AMD GPUs, and the RX 6400 is the most powerful uh, small form factor AMD GPU. Um, for storage, I went with a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD, um, and then I've just got this little card that that will slot into so it can go into one of the PCIe um, Express lanes. Um, that way we have a lot of fast storage. You can run Steam Deck OS off of a hard drive, but it runs a lot faster and smoother, and boots a lot faster if you run it off of an SSD. <laughs> whole PC upgraded, let's head over to my workstation where I'll show you how to install Steam Deck OS onto a flash drive and then onto your game console PC. So go ahead and take your USB thumb drive and plug it into a USB port on your computer. Uh, I recommend at least a 32 gigabyte drive just to make sure you have enough uh, storage on it for Steam Deck OS. So you're going to go to this GitHub file called Hollow ISO. Um, I'll leave links to everything down in the description below so you guys can easily find everything and follow along with this process. Uh, so you're just going to scroll down and click on Belena Etcher right here. Uh, this is the software that's going to allow us to turn the Steam Deck OS file into a bootable file for our PC. So just click on Download Etcher and then select the operating system that you have. Click on Download. And then you can put it anywhere you like. So I'm going to put mine on the desktop uh, and click Save. Then we can go back to the uh, GitHub again and click on right over here underneath Releases. Uh, so we can see they're on ISO Update 4.0. Um, here we have some pictures and everything and some instructions on how to uh, do the whole installation process for uh, Steam Deck OS. So just scroll down here. Uh, sometimes this top download link doesn't work. So if that one doesn't work, you can just click the one below it, which is the same file. It's just in a Google Drive. So just click download. Click download anyway. I'm also going to put this on my desktop. 
uh, just make sure you know where it is uh, for later and then click on save and we will wait for that to download um, we can install the Belena etcher so just click down here click I agree So now that's installed, now we just have to wait for our ISO file to download. So once that is downloaded, we can just exit out of the browser. In the Belena Etcher here, we can click Flash from File, go to wherever our file is stored. So just click on the Hello ISO uh, installer, click Open. Make sure you have the, select, or the correct uh, thumb drive selected here, and just click on Flash. Click on Yes. So once that's done, just go ahead and remove your USB thumb drive. So go ahead and plug in your USB thumb drive into the game console. Now what we're going to do is basically go into the PC's boot menu. Uh, every computer manufacturer and motherboard manufacturer has a different uh, function key for the boot menu. So look up what the boot menu key is for either your computer or the motherboard that you have if it's a uh, custom build and it should tell you which function key is for the boot menu when your PC is booting up. So you should get here, uh, you can either click enter or it will boot into the installer automatically. So once everything is uh, finished installing, it should automatically boot into this sort of desktop here. Uh, what you're going to do is go into the top left and click install SteamOS on this device. So here you're just going to click install hollow ISO, click OK. And then here's where we choose our disk. So it's not loop zero, SDA is our SanDisk thumb drive and we want the NVMe 0 and 1, which is our 2 terabyte ADATA NVMe. Click OK. So here you can uh, decide if you want to erase the entire drive to install Hollow ISO, or you can install it alongside, say, Windows 10, so you can dual boot into, like, Windows and boot into um, Steam Deck OS. So I'm going to just erase the entire drive, so click OK. Then you're going to create a password for uh, your user. Then you're going to create a username. And a password for that username. After this, it's just going to have you confirm everything, so just click yes and it should go through the installation process. So once everything is finished, you should get this message right here, so you can just click OK. So just go down here and click in the bottom left and click Restart. Then just click OK. At this point, once it restarts, it should boot into Steam Deck OS. So now you should be in the setup uh, page of the, basically, of what is a Steam Deck. Um, you can either use a keyboard or mouse to navigate everything, or use a controller, whether it's Bluetooth or wired. Um, so just select your language. Uh, your time uh, area, and your Wi-Fi. So once you do that, it's going to do a few updates, and it's going to restart a few times. So after it goes through all its updates and restarting, you're going to have to log in with your Steam account. And there we go. We are completely in. Uh, it works just like a Steam Deck. I'm using a keyboard right now to navigate it. Um, we can go up into settings here, and system, 
and scroll all the way down to hardware, we can see that in hardware, we've got our i5-6500 showing up, four cores, four threads, our 16 gigs of RAM, our AMD graphics card, VRAM size of four gigabytes. Um, we've got all the functions of a Steam Deck, brightness, volume, audio sources. Um, we've got all our Steam games. And if you want, just like on the Steam Deck, you can even switch to desktop mode and use uh, this whole thing as a desktop still as well. So honestly, this is a really sweet setup. Uh, I'm gonna install a game called BIOS real quick just cause it's really small and won't take too long to download and we're gonna try this thing out. All right, so here we are in BIOS and uh, we're getting a solid 60 FPS. This is a 60 Hertz uh, display that I'm playing on. So obviously, uh, it's not really going to go above that uh, refresh rate because I believe there is a some sort of V-Sync um, enabled on this thing. So um, you could probably disable that in the settings, but honestly, for a, like a console experience, 60 FPS is perfectly fine. Um, overall, the game's running really nice, very smooth. It looks good. We're running on max graphics here, and the temps are really good. Uh, the GPU is getting up around 60 degrees Celsius, and the uh, CPU is hanging around the mid 40s to low 50s, looks like. So, honestly, really good performance and really good temps, and it literally feels like I'm just playing this on a console. It's awesome. So, guys, that is how to turn your PC into basically a fully functioning game console. This is a really cool thing um, that you could do with your PC for like a home uh, media center or uh, theater setup or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.